Hi, I'm Scott Moore, sales consultant here at Mount Comfort RV. We're going to take a few minutes today and talk about the 2013 Forest River Salem Estate. This is a 393 RLT, rear lounge, triple slide. It's a great destination trailer and floor plan. This is perfect for your piece of property out in the woods, the place uh, at the campground by the lake. These are great coaches to put on one spot so you have something wonderful just to show up to. Let's spend a few minutes here on the outside and then we'll go inside and take a look too. Here on the front, you can see it's a very residential style. The bigger windows, we have the soffits that come out, uh, rain gutters down both sides with rain gutter extensions so the water comes out here and just doesn't run down the side. We've got an all aluminum exterior. The advantage here over fiberglass is if anything happens to one of these panels, one panel can come off and a brand new one can come on. Easy repair, easily to be able to fix like new. We've got a double door entry. Our first door goes directly into the bedroom area. So if you do have company or people sleep on the sofa inside that have come, you can still come in and out through the fire play from the fire pit uh, inside without disturbing anyone. Easy in, easy out. We've got speakers on the outside for your, for your music listening pleasure. We have big docking lights. So with this light on, if you at night you were playing cornhole, things like that, you could do things outside uh, that you may not be able to do with those small little white or amber lights on most trailers. The awning covers both doors. Second door you're going to notice is the sliding glass door with the screen. We talked about that awning covering both doors, so when it comes out, you have a nice dry area coming in and out. Nice big grab handle coming in and out, and nice three steps coming in and out of this. So it makes it easy to come in, makes it easy to come out. You've only got one slide on this side, it is on the back side. Advantage of it being on the back side is, yes, I have the slide topper awning to keep the things off the slide room and protect the top of the slide room, but I don't lose any of my awning area when my awning comes out. The slide isn't affected there. We still got a full awning with all your friends and family can be hanging out um, right outside the camper. If we come down the back side, we'll get a chance to see uh, those slide topper awnings a little bit better. We do have a little light here in the front. So if you are doing some things out to the front, you have a little bit extra light. Here you can see the slide topper awnings keeping limb leaves debris off the top of your slide rooms. Also the sun will beat right down on, the, on top of those slide toppers and not on top of your slide room. So it actually will help it keep cooler inside also. We do have access for storage. This is underneath the bed. You can lift the bed up from the inside and access it from the inside, but you can also open the door and access that storage from the outside. Water fills. All your connections are here on this side. Mud dauber screens over our uh, furnace. Keep the mud daubers from building their nests. Dump station here on the back side. Our second big slide. Again, slide topper awning. Even back here, nice big windows on both areas. 50 amp service with power cord comes with. And we do have cable and satellite hookups. It's a neat trailer here from the outside, but what we want to see is on the inside. Come on, let's go take a look. Hi, I'm Scott Moore, sales consultant here at Mount Comfort RV. We're taking a minute or two to talk about the Forest River Salem Villa Estates, the 393 RLT, rear lounge triple slide. As you come in the sliding glass door with the nice screen, you'll come right into my, uh, my, my station where porch lights, ceiling lights, slide room buttons, water pump, I can check all of my tanks from here, uh, ceiling fan, AM, FM, CD, DVD player, all is in one central location. Not only is it nice that it's in one central location, but it's up taller. Advantage there is small kids and little hands aren't just able to flip buttons and switches and things like that. So it makes it a little convenient not only to come in, but again, keep those little hands off of it. One of the nice things about the usability of the trailer is when I walk in, first thing you notice is a nice little countertop area. This is just extra countertop area. They do put a plug. So if I wanted to leave my toaster, my coffee maker, my crock pot, any of those kinds of things could sit right here. You don't have to get them in and out of the cabinets every single day and every single night and every morning um, and still going to have lots of countertop space. 
Storage up underneath and a great place for a trash can. Residential style, a mana refrigerator freezer with ice maker. Lots of storage. And remember, we're just in a small section of the kitchen and look at the storage we have. As we roll into the main part of the kitchen, we've still got a nice pantry area. A big island. On this island, we do have storage up underneath. A big double bowl sink, high rise faucet with pull out sprayer. Cover, which is nice, use this as a buffet and cooking area. We've got the brown oven. Advantages here is we do have a true boiler. It's a little bit bigger oven than most of your RVs. And again, we've got a four burner, um, traditional apartment style oven. Timer, clock, all the stuff that you would expect out of a real oven. Countertop space. Not only the island, but look at all the countertop space. And we already mentioned where you could put all your stuff. So with plugs, it's a great workspace, good height. All full extension drawers. I'm not stopping halfway, having to reach around the back, trying to find it. It's going to pull all the way out. And this is going to be for all the drawers in here. A bank of three, no, a bank of six. And another place to store pots and pans in your cast iron. And up above with the microwave, two more storage areas and fan and light above the cooktop. A little farther down, we were right into the entertainment center. We do have the fireplace, which is going to be your an electric heat source. On both sides of the television, we have shelving. These are adjustable shelves, so you can set what you need to your needs. And another big spot up above. We're not even halfway through the living area and we've got a ton of storage already. Along the back wall, great back window, great view, side windows for view and light. And two nice rocker recliners that can be moved around the floor plan. If you want to pull them out a little farther, switch them over. The same way with the sofa. Sofa's movable. So if I wanted to do my sofa on the back wall and I wanted to do the two chairs over here, guess what? I absolutely can. You get it to where you want. You can maneuver this furniture around any way you want to. This is also a high to bed sleeper. So if you do have guests, they have a nice comfortable place to sleep. Also in the slide room, We've got nice windows, floor to ceiling in our uh, freestanding table and chair area. But again, just like we talked about before, storage above that sofa, lots of storage. Table for chairs. We do have storage up underneath these chairs that can be accessed at any point in time. Great place to put pencils and cards and paper and crayons and coloring books. Things that maybe the kids could get into. And that would be okay because they don't have to climb up on furniture trying to get into cabinets. They could keep that stuff underneath. We talked about the storage that you could access from the other side of the island. But it's also accessible from this side. So you can get into this island from either side. Great place to put a lazy Susan with maybe some of your spices or utensils or things like that. The living area is nice. It's a very residential feel. Part of that residential feel is our higher ceilings, which gives us the opportunity for ceiling fan and light in the living area. This has surround sound and a few other neat little features like that. But again, that residential feel, we have a hallway. We come down the hallway, brings us right into the bathroom. Nice corner shower skylight for some extra light an area for potential hanging clothes nice big place for towels a couple of more full extension drawers excellent storage underneath the uh, the sink here in the bathroom and we have a true medicine cabinet 
These lights are also put on a wall switch. So again, kids could come in, not have to stand on the toilet to try to reach the light to try to turn it on. They can come in and flip the switch on. The other thing is this has max air vent covers. All my vents have covers on the outside. So rain or shine, I can have this vent open and the wall switch turns the fan on and off. So again, I'm not trying to reach up and turn things on. I'm not climbing on top of the toilet to reach things on. I'm doing everything as a switch because of the max air vent, rain or shine, this stuff can be open and on. Moving down the hallway, we come into the bedroom. We mentioned the second door coming in and out of the bedroom. Nice little desk area, uh, makeup area, great little place you could put a chair. Two banks of drawers, full extension. Two cabinets, lots of storage. How about the view? I mean, you've got wonderful windows. The center one does open to let the breeze blow through. You've got a nice place here that you have. You can set lots of things. Uh, again, make it feel like home. You might have plants out here. You might have the things that you would have in a normal home or a vacation home in a permanent site. Plug for that area too. Another double bank of drawers. Or I'm sorry, uh, doors. <laughs> Above the bed. Nice deep storage. They do a nice fit and finish here with the, the glass look. King bed with plugs on both sides of the bed and headboard. Windows on both sides of the bed so you don't feel like you're sleeping in a cave. Storage up underneath this bed. And one of the things that's neat here, not only do we have the king bed, but they put these slats almost like a box spring sort of setup so it does make it a more comfortable king bed. Residential full closet, hanging clothes, great place to put stuff, shoes, everything's located really centrally right here, easy to use, easy to access. More hanging clothes, bigger closet. There's a lot of nice things about this Forest River Salem Estates. A lot of nice features and a really good floor plan. One of the things to think about, a lot of people will, they're gonna put something on a permanent site. A lot of times may look at a fifth wheel. Uh, bigger slides, more room, more square footage. We're not towing it, we're putting on a per and that is absolutely fine. This is like a fifth wheel, except we have a flush floor. No steps to climb up and down every night, every morning fifth wheel with a flush floor. It's great for a permanent site. Guys, if you have questions about this RV or anything that we carry online uh, here at the dealership, I'm Scott Moore, sales consultant here. I'll be glad to help you in any way I can. Sales, service, rentals, parts and accessories, Mount Comfort has you covered.